Maybe now is Paul Griffin. Paul, you're disappointed, I suppose. Ah, yeah. I was disgusted, like, you know. Big chance for me to lose on a draw, like. Did you think you would have won? I thought by the reaction of the crowd at the finish, like, I knew it was very close, but I thought, like, at the end, I just took it, you know. Do you think you were a little bit slow in getting started? <coughs> yeah, I actually lost the first round 3 0, and um, I won the second 3 2, and I lost the third 3 2. I won the fourth 4 2, and I won the last 2 1. I thought. I thought, like, at the last two rounds, like, I just, you know, got in front, but it wasn't to be. Now, he seems a hard puncher, was he? No, not really. Um, kind of shock punches, you know, like, very fast and snappy, like, but not really thudding blows, you know. But he, he punched hard enough, like. At no stage you felt in trouble or anything? Oh, no, never, like, really rocked me or anything. But um, he's a fair puncher, I'd say, for the away. Did you ever have a draw before? No. Uh, oh, I did once, I suppose, like, in the Europeans this year, for the medal, I drew 8-all, and I won on the countback, so, I mean, God didn't look down to me, anyway. It's really disappointing, all oh, right, it's to be so close. Unbelievable, like, you know, but the only thing is, like, it puts me right up into the rankings now, I reckon. I was seventh going into the fight there in the world, and that's the closest anybody has ever got to thought of at, at Fedaway. He's unbeaten at Fedaway, and... He destroyed the Cuban in the final of the World Championships. He destroyed the top Russian 10-1 in the final in the Europeans, so should put me up near, probably up to number two now. And indeed, in our eyes, you're up number one. Yeah, in my own eyes, I'm number one too, because I feel like I have the beatings on him. I don't think he'd want to fight me again anyway, not being too big-headed or anything, but I felt I was just that little bit too cute for him.